When does a thought become an action? This is the story of what motivates me to reach beyond the everyday and attempt something extraordinary. My name is Mitch Gaylord, and this is my Fitspiration. All I wanted to do as a kid growing up was to fly. That was my earliest dream, was you know watching Superman and being inspired by that, flying in the sky and being a superhero. My mother was smart enough to see this love of flying that I had. She saw me flipping off diving boards all the time, and she enrolled me in a trampoline class. From the first moment I got on that trampoline, I knew I'd found my home. I had no idea about gymnastics or where that sport would ever take me, but the coaches saw the talent and they said, you got to do this sport. I competed for the first time at the Junior Olympics. The idea was to place in the top 12 in this competition so that you got to stay for a two-week training camp with the head honchos of USA Gymnastics. So this weird thing happened to me when I got to the event. I started to get very intimidated by seeing all these other gymnasts that I had heard of, and I almost felt like I wasn't worthy of being there. I made mistakes on 50% of my routines, and when they announced the top 12, unfortunately I was 13th. And this was the first big turning point uh, in my gymnastics career, where I had to kind of look myself in the mirror and say, what are you doing here? Are you really meant to be in this sport? Um, are you ever going to be able to compete at that level? It was a major, powerful motivator for me to work harder become better, and never let that happen again. So we traveled to Europe to compete in a dual competition with France before we went to Moscow for the World Championships. And I was the alternate on that team when I should have been on the team. And in that competition, I got to compete, and uh, I won. On the flight home, Kurt Thomas, a great gymnast before my time, said, hey, look, Mitch, I've been following your career. You're by far the most talented gymnast we have in this country, yet you're the alternate on the team. You know, what's going on with you? And I basically said I lack confidence and I lack that extra belief in myself that I'm supposed to be at those top levels. And he said, it's got to be mental because your talent is there. Do you want to come train with me? I'll coach you each and every day, and I'm going to teach you what the love of performance is like versus the fear of competition. So every night on this tour, I would go out and perform to the crowd, and I learned the love of that. And it built so much confidence in me, and it made all the difference in the world. So from eighth place in 81, I went to second place in 82, and first place in 83 and 84, and I finally led the country, and it felt great. The highlight of my career was standing up there on the victory stand with my teammates and winning the first ever a USA Men's Gymnastics gold medal. So I look back at that with so much pride that we were able to pull together and make history like that. It was really uh, just an incredible, incredible experience. After the Olympics, it was like a whirlwind. We were doing tours all over the country, and I got a movie offer, a movie called American Anthem. I gotta tell you, I had a blast doing it, but when it came out, uh, it didn't do that great. Uh, it developed a cult following in the world of gymnastics, and people still know about it to this day, but I quickly knew that was not gonna be my life path after the Olympics. I entered the world of fitness, of all things, through Suzanne Summers and an infomercial product. And I learned so much from this incredible woman about being in front of a camera and making a good impact on people's lives. And I thought, this is wonderful, I endorse this product, but I'd really like to make more of an impact. The way we ended up going into Legree Fitness is very interesting because after the birth of my second child with Valentina, our second child, <laughs> um, Valentina needed a place to work out and get back into great shape. And she found Legree and the Megaformer. And she said she had never experienced anything like it. It was the best thing in the world and she loved the workout. We ended up moving to Texas and couldn't find another studio by where we lived. And we decided to roll the dice and open up our own studio called the Legree Studio here in Austin, Texas. And as we sit here, we are now four and a half years into it, and we've got three uh, fitness studios around the city of Austin, and it's been one of the best decisions that we've ever made. And I'm so proud of her because it's really her baby, and she really runs this thing and created the culture. What I like most about it is I get to teach here and have an impact, a positive impact, 
on other people going through their transformation and getting into great shape and feeling good about themselves. In our quick fix mentality society right now, fitness and health doesn't work that way. It's a lifelong commitment and a lifelong goal. I think inspiration is so important in all of our lives and I think a lot of people dread the idea of working out because they feel like it's too overwhelming to get back into the shape they want to be in. I've seen thousands of people transform their lives by taking baby steps each and every day and doing it consistently and putting yourself in the arena with like-minded individuals that makes all the difference in the world. And I think that's what we've accomplished here at the Grease Studio and it feels fantastic to help people on their journey. You can find motivation in being healthy. You can find motivation in helping others get healthy. People come through these doors at Legree Studio and want to make a change in their life. And I'm able to share with them what it really takes to go through the process of transforming your life, your fitness levels, and your whole inner world. And to me, that's incredibly fulfilling and one of the main reasons why I love doing what I'm doing here at Legree Studio. I don't know any other Olympic athlete that's gotten to the top of their sport without a mentor, without inspiration, without people that have motivated them to get there. And I hope by sharing my story today, my fitspiration, that you found something and then it triggered something deep inside of you that takes you to that next level. Go out there and create your own story.